welcome to my class introduction class is standard 11 12 subject here mathematics first paper chapter name differentiation exercise 9j lecture 10 Today's lesson to explain tangent and normal. Tangent. It has already been proved in the definition of differential coefficient that if the tangent to the curve y is equal to f of x, that means this curve at any point x1 y1 makes an angle phi with the positive direction of x axis then a prime x1 that's mean first derivative is equal to 10 phi this is equal to slope of the tangent at the point x1 y1 Therefore, the equation of the tangent at the point x1, y1 of the curve y is equal to f of x is y minus y1 equal to a prime x1 into x minus x1. Or this equal to, you can write, is of the form y minus y1, this equal to derivative of y with respect to x at the point x1 y1 x minus x1 where this that's mean derivative of y with respect to x at the point x1 y1 is the value of different de derivative of y with respect to x at the point x1 y1 clear normal the straight line passing through the point of contact and perpendicular to the tangent at that point is called the normal to the curve y equal to f of x therefore the equation of normal at x1 y1 this equal to y minus y1 equal to minus 1 divided by prime x1 into x minus x1 but the equation of tangent was y minus y1 this is equal to a prime x1 into x minus x1 as normal is a perpendicular on tangent so the slope of the equation tangent and normal their product will be minus 1 that means a prime x1 and minus 1 divided by a prime x1 this equal to minus 1 so if the derivative or slope of e equation tangent is a prime x1 then the slope of equation of normal will be minus 1 divided by a prime x1 Note that the equation of the normal also can be written as y minus 1, this equal to minus 1 divided by derivative of y with respect to x, x1, comma, y1, x into x1. Here dy by dx is the derivative at the point x1, y1. This mean follow the figure here. This is a tangent and this is a normal okay and the normal is a perpendicular on tangent clear some necessary formula if the tangent makes equal angles with the axis of coordinates then derivative of y with respect to 
at the point x1 y1 this equal to 10 plus minus 45 degree that's mean this equal to plus minus 1 remember if the tangent is parallel to x axis then derivative of with respect to x at the point x1 y1 this equal to tan 0 degree this equal to 0 and if the tangent is perpendicular to the x axis then derivative of x with respect to y at x1 y1 this equal to cot 90 degree this equal to 0 you have to remember this formula okay that's my total 5 formula discussed in this exercise equation of tangent equation of normal oh, this number this number and this number okay now follow the solution problem 1 find the equation of the tangent and normal at the point 1 minus 1 to the car x cube plus x y square minus 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5 y plus 2 this equal to 0 at first we have to derivative of this equation and find the derivative at the point 1 minus 1 then we can write the equation of tangent and also the equation of normal clear therefore derivative this with respect to x or differentiating this with respect to x we get here it will be 3x square but here is of the form u v u mean x v mean y square so we can take fixed u u mean x then derivative of y square mean 2y into derivative of y with respect to x minus y square fixed derivative of x with respect to x this equal to 1 and minus here will be 6x plus 4 here will be 5 derivative of y with respect to x and derivative of constant term this equal to 0 clear now take common this and this here derivative of y with respect to x is common here will be 2xy and here will be plus 5 and others part take into right side as a result here will be minus 3x square but after taking common minus will be x square 3x square here will be minus y square but after taking minus common here will be plus y square here will be minus 6x and here will be plus 4 because we have to take here common minus therefore derivative of y with respect to x is this equal to this divided by this now we have to find the derivative of with respect to x at the point 1 minus 1 and at, at the point 1 minus 1 derivative of with respect to x is this equal to putting x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 okay just we have put the value of x and y okay and calculate will get minus 2y 3 clear now equation of the tangent at the point 1 minus 1 is y minus y1 y1 mean minus 1 equal to a prime x or dy by dx into x minus x1 that's mean this formula is used in here clear because derivative of y with respect to x at the point 1 minus 1 this equal to minus 2 by 3 now calculate plus multiplication 3y minus minus plus 3 minus 2x plus 2 therefore 2x plus 3y plus 1 that's mean this convert into left side here will be plus 2x here will be plus 3y here plus 3 but after converting plus 2 into my left side here will be minus 2 and calculate will get 1 just calculation and the equation of the normal at the point 1 minus 1 is y minus y and minus 1 divided by d 
derivative of y with respect to x at the point 1 minus 1 into x minus 1. That means this formula is used in here. Clear everyone? You have to remember formula because that is very essential to solve this exercise. With that memorized or understand the formula, it is very difficult to solve the problem in this exercise. Clear everyone? Just formula. Here used just formula. And then calculation. Y plus Y1. Here will be minus minus. Will be plus. And this convert. And we'll get 3 by 2. Here X minus X1. Now calculate. 2 into Y. Non into this line. 2 into Y plus 2. This equal to 3X minus 3. Now calculate 3x minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 this equal to 0. Therefore, 3x minus 2 minus 5 this equal to 0. This is the record answer. Clear everyone? Problem 2. Show that the sum of intercepts cut off from the axis of coordinates by any tangent of the curve is square root over x plus is square root over y this is equal to is square root over a is constant follow the solution this is a given condition differentiating this with respect to x we get 1 divided by 2 root x plus 1 divided by 2 root y into derivative of y with respect to x equal to 0 Therefore, derivative of y with respect to x, this is equal to minus root y divided by root x. At first, you have to convert this into right side. As a result, right side will be minus 1 divided by 2 root x. And then, cross multiplication as a result, right side will be 2 root y divided by 2 root x 2 to cut and minus fixed as a result derivative of y with respect to x this equal to this let x or y1 be any point on the curve as a result equation 1 will be square root over x1 plus square root over y1 this equal to square root over a and Derivative of y with respect to x is this equal to will get minus e square root over y1 by e square root over x1. Therefore, equation of tangent at the point x1 y and that's mean this point equal to y minus y and this equal to minus e square root over y1 by e square root over x1. Derivative of y with respect to x at the point x1 y1 is this. So use here this into x minus x1 this formula is used here clear now calculate now calculate we will get y into e square root over x minus e square root over x into y1 and here will be minus x into e square root over y1 plus as here minus here minus so here will be plus e square root over y1 into x1 just calculation and this equal to we can write here e square root over x1 y1 plus e square root over y1 into x1 now take common e square root over x1 y1 as a result here will be that's mean at first I have written here this that's mean here will be e square root over x1 because here is x1 mean e square root over x1 into e square root over x1 after taking common this here will be e square root over x1 and here will be e square root over y1 okay but e square root over x1 plus y1 this equal to e square root over a clear and 
divided on both sides by square root over x1 y1 into square root over a as a result we will get this now this equal to you can write and separate here x divided by square root over y1 square root over y1 cut here will be square root over a into square root over x1 similarly here will be y by square root over a into square root over y1 equal to 1 this is the intercepting part from x axis and this is the intercepting part from y axis okay but we have to prove that sum of these two that's mean this plus this equal to constant therefore sum of the intercept cut off from the axis of coordinates this equal to that's mean this plus this will get take common square root over a here will be square root over x1 plus square root over y1 but this equal to square root over a from 2 and this equal to we can write a which is constant hence proved clear problem 3 find the coordinates of the point on the curve y equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 2 where the tangent are parallel to x axis when the tangent are parallel to x axis then we can write derivative of y with respect to x this equal to 0 clear this is a given condition therefore derivative of y with respect to x this equal to the x since the tangents are parallel to x axis so derivative of y with respect to x this equal to 0 now this equal to we can write 3x is minus 6x divided on both sides by 3 will get x square minus 2x this equal to you can write this therefore x is equal to 0 2 now putting this value in 1 we get y equal to 2 when x is equal to 0 y equal to minus 2 when x is equal to 2 just calculation therefore the we got coordinates of the points 0 2 2 minus to, this is the required answer very easy okay just you have to remember the formula this formula here this line is very important problem four find the points on the curve x square plus 2ax plus y square this equal to 0 find the tangent are perpendicular to x s okay when the tangent perpendicular to x axis mean derivative of x with respect to y this equal to zero we know this formula okay and other proofs are same this is a given condition derivative of now differentiating this with respect to x we will get this therefore dy dx this equal to minus x plus a by y perpendicular to x axis therefore derivative of x with respect to y is equal to 0 but this equal to as here derivative of y with respect to x this equal to this so derivative of x with respect to y this equal to y divided by x plus a okay therefore y is equal to 0 okay now putting y is equal to 0 in 1 we get x is equal to 0 minus 2a therefore the required points 0 0 and minus 2 a 0 this is the required answer okay I have already discussed about four formulae and last one will be derivative of y with respect to x this equal to plus minus 1 or 10 plus minus 45 degree when tangent makes equal angle with the axis clear Last one, find the abscissa of the points on the curve, these, where its tangents makes equal angles with the axis of coordinates. This is a given condition. Therefore, derivative of with respect to x, this equal to 0. Since the tangents makes equal angles with the axis of coordinates, therefore, derivative of with respect to x, this equal to 10 plus minus 45 degree, this equal to plus minus 1. But this, that's mean derivative of y with respect to x, this equal to this. Therefore, 
3x square minus 6 is minus 2 this is equal to plus minus 1 taking plus sign we get 3x square minus 6x minus 2 this is equal to 1 this is equal to this just calculation therefore x is equal to 2 plus minus a square root over b square minus 4ac here 2 mean minus b as here is minus b mean minus 2 so here will be plus and after calculating this we will get 1 plus minus a square root over 2 again taking minus sign we get 3x square minus 6x minus 2 this equal to minus 1 in plus 3x square minus 6x minus 1 this equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 6 plus minus a square root of 36 minus 4 into 3 into minus 1 by 2 into 3 therefore this equal to 6 plus minus a square root over 48 by 6 a square root of 48 mean 4 a square root over 3 now calculate we'll get this therefore the required abscess are 1 plus minus root 2 and 3 plus minus 2 root 3 by 3 this is the required answer I tried to explain different kinds of math related to the exercise okay so everybody will solve exercise 9c and submit the copy in the group date of submission 7 10 10 2020 time 7 pm okay good after this thank you goodbye everyone